Hi everyone, welcome back to Hands-Free Studying for the MBE, brought to you by Brainscape. These upcoming constitutional law questions cover individual liberties. All right, let's get started. Question one, what is the free exercise clause? The free exercise clause prohibits the government from outlawing or preventing the exercise of religious beliefs. Question two, laws that intentionally target religious beliefs are subject to what level of scrutiny? Strict scrutiny. Question three, laws that only incidentally impact religion are subject to what level of scrutiny? Rational basis review. Question four, what is the Establishment Clause? The Establishment Clause prohibits the government from endorsing or supporting a particular religion. Question five, laws promoting a particular religion are subject to what level of scrutiny? Strict scrutiny. Question six, what is the three-part test to determine whether a law violates the Establishment Clause? This is called the Lemon Test. First, the action must have a secular purpose. Second, the primary effect must neither advance nor inhibit religion. And third, the action must not excessively entangle the government with religion. An action will only be upheld if it meets all three elements of the lemon test, and only if it regulates the practice of religion, not a belief. Remember that the government can never regulate beliefs. Question seven. When is government aid to private religious schools allowed? Government aid to private religious schools is allowed if the aid is for secular instruction or purposes, and it does not excessively entangle the government. In other words, it doesn't require the government to oversee programming or any type of funding disbursement. Question eight, are tax deductions given to parents of students in religious schools constitutional? Yes, as long as they are also given to students in secular schools. Question nine, are tax exemptions for religious organizations constitutional? Yes, as long as they are also given to other nonprofit organizations. Question 10, is allowing a religious organization to hold its meetings in a public school constitutional? Yes, as long as there are a broad range of organizations using the facilities and none are given preferential treatment. And that's the end of your 10 flashcard study round. To reach full mastery, remember to study in Brainscape. Our mobile and web app uses the latest in space repetition techniques, allowing you to optimize your study time and track your progress down to the finest detail. But of course, when you're driving, cooking, exercising, or otherwise unable to navigate the app, be sure to keep listening to the rest of this hands-free studying playlist. No matter what subject you're learning and what method you're studying it, Brainscape helps you rise to your challenge. Thank you.